If we were to put a fine point on what was said at the Republican National Convention this week, uh, we might describe the attacks made against Senator Obama and the immoderate praise given to Governor Palin as the Associated Press did. They described those things as, quote, stretching the truth. We're going to go out on a limb here on Countdown and call them lies. We're also going to call the repeated telling of those lies lying. The charge that Senator Obama authored two memoirs but not a single major law or reform? Lying. Senator Obama wants to raise your taxes? Unless you happen to be a corporation or the richest 1% of all Americans? Lying. Senator Obama has never worked with Republicans on bipartisan legislation? Lying. Senator McCain repeating that particular lie on the stump today in Wisconsin. I've worked across the aisle again and again. I've reached out my hand to those on the other side of the aisle to work for a common good. Senator Obama never has. I repeat, lying. Let's turn now to Clarence Page, a nationally syndicated columnist with the Chicago Tribune. Uh, thanks for your time tonight, Clarence. Thank you, Rachel. Good to see you. Uh, what happened in St. Paul apparently will not stay in St. Paul um, because many of uh, what I'm saying are lies that were told there uh, last night and over the last couple of days in St. Paul. They've now been incorporated into the McCain stump speech and the Palin stump speech, which means we can expect to hear these things again and again and again over the next 60 days. Um, does debunking right. not have any political impact anymore? Is, is there no political risk for telling things that are demonstrably untrue about your opponent? Well, things happen fast in this campaign, remember. It's only been two nights since we heard Sarah Palin, uh, one night since McCain's speech. The, the Obama campaign right now is assessing just how to deal with Sarah Palin because she is a big surprise uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, but uh, there's no question that the campaign has to respond. This reminds me a lot of the swift boating of John Kerry four years ago where they uh, just kept piling on and piling on uh, with statements, uh, many of them un unsubstantiated but the Kerry campaign was too slow in responding. And then it takes on the appearance and the, and the feel of truth, even if it's false. And the Obama campaign knows that they've got responses uh, for those charges. Uh, and I expect we're going to be hearing them in future days. The Obama campaign has very aggressively pounced this week on the McCain campaign manager Rick Davis's statement that the campaign should be about personality instead of about issues. I think that they're pouncing on it because they see that declaration as a sort of facts don't matter, get out of jail free declaration. Do you think that's uh, behind why the Obama campaign has been so aggressive on that? Uh, yeah, because uh, it's true the McCain campaign doesn't want to deal with issues. Uh, we did, as Howard just mentioned, uh, the latest unemployment figures today are the highest in the past five years. Uh, if you want to run on the record of, of uh, what Republicans have had for the last few years, what do you have to run on? Uh, uh, President Bush's approval ratings are extremely low. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, John McCain uh, and Sarah Palin are going to push their personalities and, and, and go after Barack Obama's strength which is his personality, and it is the exciting oratory that uh, has energized so many people over the last few years and, and throughout this campaign. And also his campaign itself, an extraordinary organizing uh, uh, effort, uh, an extraordinary executive skill set that he is showing. And so what's the McCain campaign doing? They're attacking Obama, saying he's not a leader, that he doesn't uh, uh, have uh, executive skills. Uh, and they're calling him a celebrity as if building celebrity in the political world uh, came as uh, in the same way it does to a rock star. He hasn't even sung a note that I know of. <laughs> Well, even on, even on their own terms, even on those personality terms, um, in the long run, which at this point is the next 60 days, do you think it helps or hurts John McCain's chances in November that Sarah Palin really is upstaging him right now, that she really is getting more attention, bigger crowds, um, and, and more sort of inspiring more enthusiasm than he is? Well, McCain approached this like a jet fighter, you know. Uh, he he uh, 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 took that high-risk chance by dropping the Palin bomb. And uh, it, uh, she has indeed changed the game right now. But at the same time, she's also made herself an issue. It's very risky for a presidential can candidate to make uh, his or someday her a running mate an issue. Uh, George McGovern, of course, uh, had to drop his running mate uh, when his uh, 
mental health care record became an issue. Uh, Sarah Palin has a lot of questionable controversies in her background that are starting to come out. But, you know, a lot of reporters have only now landed in Alaska to look into her background. Uh, uh, McCain uh, uh, and his campaign may find themselves uh, fending off a lot of embarrassing questions over the next couple of weeks. Well, over the next couple of weeks and over the next couple of months, that's those, that's the horizon that we've got here. Looking out from now till first week of November, this next 60 days, if you if you had to predict right now, um, who do you think is actually going to win this election in November? How do you think it's going? How do you think it's going to be won? Oh, you want me to make it easy for you, huh, Rachel? To tell you right now. <laughs> Bottom line, it right here. We'll take the next couple of months off, Rachel. <laughs> I think it's I think it's going to be close, Rachel. Mm. I think it's going to be close. It's closer than it ought to be, considering how low uh, the public's approval of uh, Republicans is right now. Uh, how John McCain has not dealt with with uh, uh, specifics as, as to what he's going to do about it. Uh, but by making this a personality race, it becomes an unpredictable contest. Clarence Page of the Chicago Tribune. Thank you so much for joining us.